INGV reported ongoing eruptive activity at Stromboli during December to January 2024. The eruption showed Strombolian activity at three vents in Area N, at the summit of Shara del Fuoco, and from two south-central crater vents on the crater terrace. Eruption above average today. Explosion stronger than usual occurred from the central south. The average total daily explosions in the Area N and Area CS vents were at normal levels with explosions emitting a mixture of ash, bombs and lapilli. Sparks occurred on S2 and N2 in December. A series of six explosions and brief lava eruptions were recorded during 2252-2257 in late December. The first encounter was huge and threw pyroclastic material onto the Shara del Fuoco. The next five explosions were larger than the first, but still larger than average. The Departamento della Protezione Civile maintains the alert level at yellow, meaning the second highest level on a four-level scale. Tromboli, located in Italy, has had almost constant lava fountains for the past 2,000 years. The recorded eruption occurred in 300 BC. Eruptive activity occurred at the top of several craters, including the northern crater area and the central south crater on a terrace known as Terraza Kawahika, at the tip of the Shara del Fuoco, a large slope that stretches from the peak to the northwestern side of the volcanic island. Activity typically consists of Strombolian explosions, glow plumes, lava flows, and pyroclastic flows. Thermal and visual monitoring cameras are located near Pizzo Sopra La Fosa, on top of the Terraza Kawahika, and at several side locations. The current eruptive period has been ongoing since 1934 and the most recent activity has been Strombolian explosions and incandescent flares. BGVN 4707. The activity described here includes daily explosions, flares, spatter activity and lava flows during July to December 2022 using reports from Italy's Istituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Vulcanologia INGV, and various satellite data. Frequent explosive activity continued throughout the reporting period, generally in the low to moderate range, based on the number of hourly explosions at the summit crater. Intermittent thermal activity recorded by MIROVA analysis on MODIS satellite data. There is a gradual increase in heat energy and frequency from September to October and again in early to mid-November. The strongest thermal activity was detected in early December and continued at high levels until the end of the month. This increase in thermal activity likely reflects the period of active lava flow reported at Shara del Fuoco before intense splash activity. Sentinel-2 infrared satellite imagery captured relatively strong hot spots in two active summit craters on clear weather days, indicating a particularly strong event in late January where lava flows covered much of the northwest flank. 